Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Demolish and Build 2018. We are going to go to Dorfenberg today. We're going to open up a new company there. We're going to jump onto a plane. We're going to fly to Dorfenberg and we're going to um, advance. Well, we're going to expand our company to all the corners of the globe. Um, I've always wondered how you can do that. You know, people always say, you know, the, all the corners of the world, all the corners of the globe, anything like that. Doesn't really make a lot of sense, does it? Because there's not a lot of corners in, in, on a globe. Um, but anyway, that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to expand our company to all the corners of the globe. So let's just do a complete 360, which wasn't quite part of the master plan here. Um, no, we'll go onto here and we will go to the airport. We want to set a waypoint, except just like that. So there is our waypoint set. We can now go scurrying off out here. Cutting up traffic as we go. And come all the way out around here. I suppose I could have cut across the um, the dry, barren desert just there. But nope, that's okay. We'll go this way. We'll do it like we're supposed to. The, the grip on the road on this is absolutely appalling. It really is. We, we really do struggle to grip anything, don't we? There we go. Over we go. We've got to do this in style. If we're going to do this, we've got to do this in style. Right. There is our waypoint climb out of here a minute um i thought i sold that scrap maybe i didn't could have sworn i sold the whole idea was to sell the scrap i could have sworn that i did that right uh parking lots no i don't want that particular one uh let's go over to here and there is departures and arrivals so let's go hint Use an airport sign to travel different places increase the company increasing the company rating will unlock new locations okay so let's go to here, and we press F like this. We've got Gold Valley, and we've got Dorfenberg. We want to fly to Dorfenberg. Some properties require buying, buying and delivering materials. You can see where specific materials can be bought and loaded in the land status screen. We have arrived in Dorfenberg, and the first thing I notice is green. There are trees. There are plants. There are lots of trees. There is lots of green. There are windmills as well. There's always lots of windmill. There's, there's lots and lots of windmills in Europe. Um, and but but look, there's there's grass on the ground. There's greenery and shrubs. I, mean, uh, uh, I can't get through there. Uh, okay, let's look. Can I can I climb over the wall? No, but I can walk around behind it. This in this actually looks like green grass. It's it's not desert sands everywhere. This is amazing. We've actually got greenery here. Uh, scenario. 544 meters right over there. Travel to Dolphenburg, buy and prepare a company building. Let's take a look at the Dolphenburg map. So here we go. Here is our map. And it looks a little bit more built up, this one does. We've got some green areas for gold and scrap and stuff. We've got a whole load of... Oh, hang on, look. We've got a concrete mixer, a dump truck, excavator, backhoe loader. There's a whole load of stuff there that we haven't used before. And all of this stuff does look... Can I go... Can I, can I, uh, do you want to get a taxi to your office? Well, yeah, we may as well. We may as well just get a taxi straight here. Look at it. Look at this place. Does it not look absolutely wonderful here in Dorfenberg? I like Dorfenberg. I do. It's, it's a lot more mountainous and a lot less blazing sunshine. I'm not a fan of blazing sunshine, mainly because it hurts me. Um, my, my red hair does not agree with it. $5,000 to buy this, and we have 5267 That is called cutting it close. Oop, no, hang on, buy. Uh, do you, yes, I do, except, except, assign worker, accept task. Right, deliver the crates to specified spot, cut metal enforcement. Accept tasks. Right. Where are the crates? Where are the, we got a parking thing inside here this time. Have I actually got any vehicles I can use here? I have one pickup truck, that is it. Everything else I am going to have to buy. Right, I'm guessing this is these. Oh, i got to deliver them. Where have I got to deliver? Oh, out there. I've got to deliver them outside. We've got to take... Oh, yeah, we've just got to stick them in the skip. Right, so we can drop that one in there. And i got another one. I've got seven crates to deliver. But fortunately, some of them seem to be fairly close by. So this should be reasonably quick. And then we've got some metal reinforcement to cut inside as well. I hope that we, I'm, I'm hoping that we're able to do more with our office, like we, we did our office and we upgraded it all and everything back in Gold Valley, but we weren't actually, we didn't actually do anything with it, we just kind of, once it was done, that was it, we just had this like empty office with hardly any furniture in it, 
and nobody around. It's like a ghost town. And I feel that they, I feel that more could be done with the office. That there's definitely room for improvement there on the whole office front there. Um, but anyway, we'll worry about that another time. Right now, we have the very important, very dangerous, possibly life-threatening task of finding the final crate. Where is the final crate? Okay, we're going to do it like this. Oh, there it is. It's a lot. I should have just done that from the start. I wanted to see if I could do this without the assistance, but apparently I can't. Oh, it's cleverly disguised in the shrubs down there. But now we have found it. Task done. Perfect. So now I've got metal reinforcements, and I think the metal reinforcements are those all in there. It should be reasonably easy to get through. So we've got, yeah, there's a collection of them there, and then I've got a collection of them here. you just got to... There we go. Okay, you don't want that landing on your head. You absolutely... Seriously, this is, this is dangerous. This is a dangerous job. You don't want to be doing this by hand. Especially not with them flicking out like that. There must be some immense pressure from the top for them to be flicking around like that. I really don't like this. Is that one... That one's holding the window open. It's actually holding the window up. Uh, well, I thought it was, but apparently it's not. This is, it, it, it feels dangerous doing this. It feels very dangerous and, and slightly suspect as well. I'm not entirely sure that the health and safety executive is going to be pleased about this. Here we go. <laughs> Look at this. This is, this is insane. I don't like this. It makes me feel unsafe. And, and yeah, it, it, it's dangerous. Right, let's, let's chop through there. And I'm going to do another one there. I know it says tasks done, but... Actually, I wonder if I do task done now, is it going to remove those three anyway? Let's see. Uh, we go there, we go finalize, delivered. We now have our office stage one development complete. Okay. It says 100%, so I don't think there's going to be anything else that we need to worry about. At least I don't think there is. Incoming call, press enter to answer. Okay, we're set. You can get contracts and buy machines here. You can also earn cash by recycling old cars and trains in the scrap market here. Trains. Okay. We can actually... Hang on, let me have a look at the map. Where, where are we going to get trains? I'm not really sure where the trains are, but apparent, according to this, there, there is some scrap right here somewhere. I'm sitting on a gold mine. I'm sitting on a scrap metal gold mine. Where is it? Where? Oh, it's gone. There was a gold mine here. I was sitting on a scrap metal gold mine. I may not be anymore. Uh, right, so we've got properties here. I've got a lignite mine, a brick house, recreational plot... Another recreational plot. Three grand for that. Uh, brick house. Three and a half thousand. Lignite mine. Wow. Okay, that looks re that looks very, very cool. Uh, show on map. Where is this one? This one is down here. I want I want to go there. Except. Right, we have we have it marked out. I am going to the lignite mine. I want I want to see this. I want I want to be a part of this. I want I want to I I, I don't know what I want, but I, I want to be a part of it. Right, let's go over here. And we're going here. Let's get let's get the pickup. Deliver vehicle. We have a new pickup. Okay, this one's looking a bit more schnazzy than the last one. I like this one. I like this pickup. It still drifts around horribly though. There's, there's, it doesn't seem to have changed that. Let's go. We can have a little tour of the countryside while we're driving around, and we're going to go. And we're going to see this lignite mine, and we're going to earn our fortune from it. If we've got a bucket wheel excavator in the middle of the lignite mine, brick supplier right there. I'm guessing we're going to need to buy some bricks at some point. Um, but yeah, if we've got a bucket wheel excavator in the middle of this lignite mine, I'm guessing it's going to be providing us with an absolute fortune at some point. Not quite sure when, but at just, just at some point. Okay, we've got quite a lot of houses all built up here. Um, I'm going to hit signs in a minute. Nope, missed the signs. And... The countryside is not quite so open as it was in the last map, which means that we're probably going to have to stick to the roads a little bit more because um, yeah, there's too many trees in the way to be able to get through. Let's, I tell you what, a good, a good test here at the moment would be to see, do these trees stop us? Uh, sort of. They sort of stop us. Because I, I go up to the tree. Oh, that, that one hit. It, it, well, it slid along the side of the tree, so it sort of stopped us, but it didn't completely stop us. We'll see. We'll, we'll probably try hitting another one. But no, it seems that all of the trees will stop us, and not just some of the trees. So we can't. We, we'd have to go round every tree. Up here, we've got 260 meters to go. It's still open countryside up here, or uh, open forest anyway. And here is our lignite mine. There it is. 
There is the Lignite Mine right there. I want to go and have a look at this. This is the one that I want to get this... Wow. We got a bucket excavator in here. This is the one that I want to get first. Definitely want to get this vehicle for uh, this vehicle, this this thing first. Look at this. Let's go. Let's go. Can I can I get in there? Uh, apparently I can't climb in. I can't go in. I want to go. I want to go and see this thing in operation. Look at it. Look at that bad boy down there. Thing is amazing. Why can't I get to it? Let's run over here. Uh. Right, well, let's go on to here. We need a backhoe, and we need an excavator to be able to do this. Remember to collect ore regularly using a dump truck and sell it on the market in order to earn cash. We're going to go for this one first. We didn't do anything with the mine that we opened up in the last ep in the last area, so I'd like to be able to do it with this one. Can I jump over? Please let me jump over. I can't jump the fence. I want to. I want to get this one. Look! Look at this thing. It's not even. It's not even going to let me stand there and drool over it. It's, it's. It's. Um. Yeah, I can't climb up on there. I'm going to go all the way. I'm going to follow this fence and see if we can get a better view. No, nope, I can't. I can't even climb up the hill. It's so cruel. It's, it's so close yet so far. I'm doing it. I'm scaling the mountain. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. The fence. There it is. Oh, I can just see the tip of the beast over there. I can just see the tip. Let me just go in a little bit closer. A little bit. No. It's just down over the hill. All the way round. This is so cruel. Oh. Oh, the humanity is heartless. Guarded parking gen has, has generated income. Ooh. I'm getting income from my other properties. But uh, no, I can't get to. I cannot get into the Lignite Mine. There is no possible way to get in. We are stuck. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to jump off. <laughs> Landed right in a tree. Okay. We ought to actually do something. We, we, as we're here, we may as well do a little bit of something. So we got properties there, but the lignite mine is for... And I know that these others are all cheaper. But quite frankly, the lignite mine is the one that I want. We're going to need the dump truck. We're going to need a few other bits and pieces as well. So coal are us. We always need more coal. Sell here at 450 per tonne. Dorfenberg's best scrap metal, 3,000 per tonne. That's on the market. And then we've got these. We need an excavator with shears there for Crazy Clown Georgie Amusement Park. That's two. Uh, we get two and a half grand for that. Old Church here. We need the excavator. Old Bridge. We need the excavator. Dorfenberg's best scrap metal. We need more scrap. We'll pay twice the market price. It may be that we need to do that first. But before we do that, I want to go and see the machinery over here. We've got a machine shop right there. Uh, that's a tool shop. That's a brick supply. I'm going to the machine shop. Are you sure you want to get a taxi? Yes, I am absolutely certain. I want to see what we got over here. So we got this one here. Uh, wooden house has generated some more income. Cargo truck, nine and a half grand. That's a bit expensive. Uh, what about you? You are seven grand. Again, a bit expensive. Wow, we got wreck it. There's actual wrecking balls here. Eight thousand for concrete mixer. This one here, the right, this this thing looks wicked. Twelve thousand, twelve grand for that one. That is insane. And and we got a dump truck for carrying ore. And this is the bad boy that I want to be using. This one right here. What do we got for this one? Nine grand. Good gravy, man. Good gravy. How am I supposed to afford this? Uh. Hmm. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to afford any of this, to be honest. We, we may have to go back, crawling back to our last home and do do a little bit of work there. Look at that. Look at that drag line there. That is fantastic. There's so much stuff. I want that. Right. Um, really, I think we want to be looking for scrap metal. That's, we, we can try looking for a bit of scrap metal here to start with. So I want to go... Actually, I can't even pick up the scrap metal. I can get small bits and that's it. i got emergency sight. Go over here. You sure you want to get a taxi? Except I have arrived at the emergency site and I can't do it without a backhoe. Close. I need a backhoe. It's six grand reward for doing that. There is an actual six thousand dollar reward. Uh, okay, let's go back on here. We've got well, actually there's some um, there's some metal here. So let's just set a waypoint there. And then we can start running. It's only 100 meters away. I should be able to gallop myself all the way over there without too much trouble. Maybe I can get... Oh, hang on. No, the, the parking lot is over here. Actually, 
I suppose I want to get my... I need my pickup. If I'm going to be getting some scrap metal, I'm going to need the pickup. So I'll get the pickup delivered here. Then we can jump in like this. And now I need to be able to get to that waypoint. And this might be a little bit more difficult. To get around here, there's some sort of lot here. Is this another one that I can buy? Oh, that's the recreational plot. Right. And there is the scrap, so I can I can get some scrap on here with that vehicle right there. I can't get all of it, but I can get some of it. I won't be able to get the bit. There's there's the waypoint over there. I'm just going to go and waypoint has been reached. There we go. Right. So we're going to go to... Nope. This one. Now, I can't remove the, the lid of the car. The, the lid is the technical term. I can do that. There, like that. And I can put it in there. And I can hopefully take off another one. Yep. Do that. Now, what we weren't able to do last time was get the bonnet off. And I'm hoping that this... Because I did manage to do it by sort of smashing it around with stuff. Um, well, I say stuff. Uh, the excavator that we had. The wheeled excavator. But that was all that I was able to do it with. It, it didn't work with anything else. So let's just pick that one up. Put it in there. So I'm wondering if this one's going to be the same. It could very well be take that one off and we'll be able to take like the the roof off but i um we're only going to be able to move that one if we use a crane i do that there see it's, it's got a crane attachment on it and then the bonnet here i can't seem to remove it at all i go up to it i'm pressing f i'm, I'm hitting it i wonder if i can actually i wonder if i can break it off with the sledgehammer i won't get it with that one but maybe i can do it with this that's how you do it you wallop it with the sledgehammer. Okay, well, at least I've learned something on there. So you can hit that one off with the sledgehammer. Can you do that with anything with the other bits of it? Then that I can do it there. Maybe, maybe on the back? Yes. Excellent. Right, so sledgehammer. That'll get you 60%. And now I've just got to get that bit. And I have an idea for this. It may, it may not be the most conventional way, but we might be able to get this to work. Go, go. Yes, look at that. That's how you do it. Except that um, I'm, I'm kind of... Oh, no, I'm not stuck. I'm, I'm no longer stuck. It's okay. I think that's everything. It doesn't really matter if it's everything or not. I now have 100% scrap. Right. Now, where do I go? Uh, I, I need to take the scrap to the market. That is brick supplier, tool shop. Uh, is that it there? Dorfenberg's best scrap metal can't get. Yes, I want to set a waypoint. So let's go that way. So where's my... That one's over there. I want to go out this way and onto the road. And then once we've gotten onto the road from here, straight down, I get a load of scrap. But there is actually a quest next to it before I sell the scrap. There's a quest there that will allow us to um, sell the scrap for double. And if I can go and find a bit more, it's going to save us having to go back to the dusty old... Uh, valley there's, there's, a, there's a tractor there's a tractor look at this can i turn this one into scrap i'd very much like to be able to turn this john deere here into scrap can i do it apparently not doesn't it doesn't like me doing this walk uh, <laughs> walking up and getting somebody's classic deer this is a classic deer you can tell it's a classic because of the um rounded cab front on it um this is you can't actually see a number on it, but it's, it looks a bit like a 2650. Uh, but a two-wheel drive one? Could very well be. You never know. But anyway, we can't steal any bits of it. So let's go back into our truck and carry on up the road. And we want to get to Dorfenberg's best scrap metal. And we are going to earn ourselves an absolute fortune with this load of scrap metal that we've got right here. At least that's the plan. So we'll come anchoring around that corner there. Um, smash our truck up a little bit. That's all right. It doesn't matter. We can still keep going. Still keep riding it on. Okay, we're just coming into town now. There is... Oh, it's Dorfenberg's best scrap metal is right here. I need to speak to that dude right there. I'm going to do that before I drive on to the waypoint. I'll go and speak to him. And we need more scrap. Pay twice the market price. Look for green circles. I accept. Right, so he wants a, thou he wants a ton of scrap metal. I don't know how much I've got on me, but I'm going to bring that in there like that and then press enter. I know what I did back in the last place. I just pressed close. I didn't press sell first. We get six grand for that one. Ideal. Achievement unlocked. Two tons of scrap. 
Okay, I just got, I just picked up $6,000 for that. And if we have, how much was the, was the back hoe, wasn't it? No, it's the excavator. The excavator is the big thing that we need. Can't get a taxi. No, uh, I'll have to climb out. The excavator was the big thing. I think most of these jobs required the excavator. We want that one. We want the excavator with the shears. This one here needs the excavator with a jackhammer. This one here needs the excavator with a jackhammer. And this one here is just that. Right, so we want an excavator. The back hoe would be useful. We could use the back... Actually, we could use the back hoe on the emergency site over there. It's got three and a half minutes to go. Machine shop, accept. I've got 6,700. The back hoe... This one over here, this one was nine grand, I think. Yeah. And this one over here, the back hoe, wasn't this one eight grand? Seven grand. We're $300 short. That's all I need. We're not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to afford to get that one and any of uh, the other bits that we need as well. Uh, in order to be able to do the emergency job. So we're going to go back over to here. Do you want to set a waypoint? No. Uh, I want to go to there. That's where I want to go. We're going to go over here. And we're going to go back into this one. And then I'm going to set a waypoint. To that one there. Except. And we're going to see if we can go and get another vehicle. So we'll come out of here. And we're going to slide on up the road up this way. If I can get, if there's another vehicle up there, I should be able to get another hundred percent and get another six grand. That means we'll be able to afford to buy the excavator and possibly even something to go with it as well. And if we can get the excavator, we can then start building up the money. Yep, there we go. There's a there's a vehicle. And we can also possibly start building up the money that we're going to need for um, buying the lignite mine. And the lignite mine is definitely going to be our first purchase. And I'm also going to uh, need, yeah, well, we want the excavator, but I'm also going to need the dump truck, aren't I? For To work the lignite mine properly, it's the, the dump truck that I'm going to need. Now, this one here, can I use this one? No, it just, it just it doesn't work here. So it's, it's not an option to use this one here. Let's take these off and pick you up, put you in there. Right, so we'll just do the same again. All you've got to do is just chop the doors like this we can cut the doors off then we use a hammer to do the the bonnet and that with the bonnet and the boot we do we use a hammer and then we also cut the lid off and i know that you know some people do refer to the lid as a roof but you know it's a lid it's a lid we've got a big tin can here we're trying to take the lid off so we want to go there we want to cut the lid off do that there we go so we've cut the lid off and then we go up to a hammer oh there's the hammer right and then Bust that one off, like that. Put you in there, that's at 50%. And bust you off as well. I think we actually get more than 40% 40, 40 for the for the lid. I, I don't actually remember now, though. Right, so I'm just going to come forward a bit. Like this. Line it up. And then we're just going to go straight back into that vehicle. And hopefully it will work again. Yes. Nailed it absolutely nailed it okay so now we can go and take this one back again uh come on round here it is this way isn't it i think it is at least i'm hoping it is yes it is we're going to go down there where that uh, quest marker is this should get us another six thousand dollars it's going to take us up to 12 we'll be able to get the excavator the excavator is the one that we want I know the back hoe would be useful, but by the time we buy the back hoe and then we do other bits as well it's i don't think it's going to work um not to be able to get the emergency jobs. We'll do that next, though. But we're going to speak to him. Accept. There we go. We have another thousand that we need to bring in. We can do that very, very quickly and easily. We go up to there. And then we stop on there like that. We press enter. And we sell for $6,000. Normally, it's three grand a ton. Right. So we've now got $12,000. That is enough to buy the excavator. We're making some progress now. Uh, climb out of there. And we can go back onto the map, and oh, I, I want to get rid of that waypoint. Do you want to remove? Accept. Right. And we go out like that, and we go all the way over here. We go to the machine shop, and accept. We go back to here. Now then, we've got a backhoe right there. Um, the emergency job is gone. There is no emergency job at the moment. There will be an emergency job at some point. But there isn't one at the moment, so we're just going to ignore that, um, because that's the one that we needed for the emergency job. 
We want this one over here. This this is the machine that we need because we're also going to need some other stuff with it. Demolish medium brick and concrete structures. Dig sand. Buy for nine thousand dollars. We've bought the excavator and there's the there's nothing. We don't even need a driver's license to use it. Okay, this is getting better and better. No driver's license. Oh, hang on. No, maybe there is. There's a thing over here. There is a thing. License tests. Yes, we're going to have to do the license exam for the excavator. Good luck. Are we really going to need this? Oh, 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 apparently we do. Apparently we need lots of luck for this as well. Okay, so let's climb in. Here is our excavator. Now, I imagine this is going to operate just the same as the other one. So we've got to put wires in the container. Drive over the checkpoint. So we want to go over here. And over here. And then I want to go to this checkpoint up here. Like this. Can I go through the concrete? Uh, apparently not. So then we come back out here like this, and we're going to go into another one. This excavator is very fast on its tracks. This is incredibly speedy. You don't normally have an excavator that is this quick. Okay, I didn't quite make that one. Now I've made it. We come round like this, and then we'll go on this way. I like the look of my excavator. This, this is my new favorite toy at the moment. I don't know how long it's going to be my new favorite toy, but at the moment, this is my favorite toy. So there is our excavator looking absolutely swish and spectacular. There he goes. Let's bring that one up to there. So there is our seven checkpoints. So now I need to load. Hang on. I go like that. I'll bring this one back this way like that. There. And then, oop, nope. We'll bring it round there. And we'll move it over to here. So I don't... Do I need to actually remove the bucket to be able to do this? So we, we do that. I can move sideways like that. Exactly the same. And then up and down. And move that out and in like that. And then that moves it up like that. Uh, there. Right. Right. Apparently I cannot do it like this. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to go into there and I'm going to need to go into my vehicles. And then I'm going to go onto that one. And we've got a jackhammer is another two grand. And the shears are enough. I have enough to get one of them, but I don't have enough to get both. So we're going to want the jackhammer, um, which we will. So I'll buy that one there. Are you sure you want to buy this part? Except, yes, I'm absolutely certain I want to buy that part. Um, but what we actually want is the lift. So let me just equip the lift on it a minute. And we can come out of there. Perfect. So now I can just bring that one in a bit. Like that. There we go. And then you use the space. Oop, wrong way. Lift it up like that. And then move it out. And then over that way. And then I need to load it. Like that. Perfect. I wonder if I can reach this next one just like this without actually moving at all. Yes, I can. I can do it all from the same spot. Sitting pretty right here. So there we go. We pick that one up and then we can move it over here. And we can dump it down in there. Perfect. Tasks done. Nailed it. Finalize. Right. I now have an excavator, and I've also got the jackhammer on the excavator as well, which means that we can go and do some other stuff. We can go and do one of these new jobs that we've got lo coming up. So we grab, so, uh, well, yeah, that one will just stay there. We're going to look at the map now. We're going to go to jobs. We have Crazy Clown Georgie. I don't have the job for getting extra stuff. Shears, missing. But I do have this one. That's 2,700. This one's 3,100. Permission for number of explosive charges, one. I could go and get some explosive charges. This historic old bridge needs to be replaced with a new one. We need a company with the right tools for the job. Lightning struck our historic church. Damage so great the building is no longer safe to reside. We need to demolish it to make space for a new one. What is wrong with these people? They're smashing down... Um, uh, let's, let's go to this one. There we go. That is next to the tool shop. I can't go there, but I can go there. Except... Right, this is a job I could actually get. Who we go? We had Doris working in last place. Dave! Hello, Dave. You right, mate? We got Dave right here. Uh, they'll allow me one explosive charge, so I'm going to buy said explosive charge um, from Dave there. Dave Dave is very good. He's, 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 he's here to help us out, he is. And we're going to run over this way. And it is... Where's... What are we knocking down here exactly? Which one did I go for? Jobs. Old bridge. I said the old bridge. 
Show on map. This is the one. So where's the old bridge? Oh, it's that bridge. Seriously, that bridge must be like 500 years old. Why, why, why are we smashing down this bridge? Surely you can just repair the bridge rather than hammering it down. I'm very, I'm, I'm very suspicious about someone. So historic old bridge needs to be replaced with a new one. We need a company. Right, accept. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm obviously the person for the job. Cut the metal enforcement. Demolish the old bridge. Zero of 444 on there. And I need to cut metal reinforcements. Where? Oh, that's those bits around the sides. Okay, so we'll chop those down. Uh, nope. Nope. That one there. We chop these down here. So there's the metal reinforcements. I'm, I'm, I'm curious why we've got to smash this bridge down, though. This seems an unusual thing to do. They don't normally let us knock down old bridges like this. Normally they've got to be rebuilt with specialist materials. And I'm wondering if this is going to come back to haunt us afterwards. Whether we're going to find out that we shouldn't have done this job. And that we should, in fact, um, have refused the job because now it's going to cost us an absolute fortune. Where is the rest of the reinforcements? Please tell me it's not the actual portcullis over on the castle. It is the portcullis on the castle that we've got to chop through. What is wrong with this place? Why are you having me chop down this? I, I, it does not feel... I, I, I'm, this job doesn't feel right. This job feels very, very suspect. i got to be honest. It feels very suspect. It feels like we're doing something that's not entirely legal. Um, I'm sure that... It, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine, but it does feel slightly illegal what we're doing here. Let me take that one out there. And i got another one there. And I may as... You know, if, if, in for a penny, in for a pound, if we're, we're doing the illegal job... Uh, I'm going to stay over this side because it, it sort of feels like that portcullis is moving. Is it moving? No, it's not moving. It's, it's okay. Right, the portcullis is fine. And I now have a bridge to remove. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to here. Not to that one. I'm going to go to this one. And I'm going to put some Semtex right there. Just like that. And then we're going to demolish this. Come on, let's, let's just back up a little bit. Uh, I want to go the other way. Nope, that one. There, right, you ready? Boom! Nice! We only have permission to use one, though. Um, which is a shame, because I reckon that three of them could have taken down the entire thing. That's alright, we'll go up to here, and we'll get in our excavator. Deliver. Perfect. And it's going to you. And then, I'm also going to need to change the um, tool that it's got on it. So let me just go to vehicles over here. And then that one, and it's got the lift on at the moment. I want the jackhammer. Equip. There we go. Right. Let's spin this bad boy around over here. We're going to run straight down towards the... Actually, I'm going to go over this side. Because the light is on that side. It's going to make it a little bit easier to see what we're doing. We come around here. Like this. And... There we go. Right. Now. Let's just switch over a minute. I want to lift that up. And lift that up. And then we want to move that one down like that. Uh, you know what? I think that's all right. I can then move it into here a little bit. And we can start hammering it down like this. So there, I want to bring that in. And then down we go. Okay, we're going through this pretty quick. That does actually, go, that does actually seem to be pretty effective. Let's just move that up a little bit. Um, guarded parking has earned me a little bit more cash. Excellent. That one over there. There we go. And there's more being broken off. I can't... I, yeah, I'm going to have to lift it up. It's, it's, it's a little bit awkward sort of trying to get these bits in the right place. But it does seem to be working. Uh... I really don't like that we're smashing down this old bridge, though. It, it, it does not feel right, smashing this old bridge down. And let's uh, raise that one out a little bit. There we go. I'll just do it like that, and then come down through that great stack there like that. Move this one around. Up a little bit. No, nope, up, up, up. And then back that way. Uh... Yeah, I'm actually thinking that we need to just back the machine up a little bit, like this. And then we go back onto the control, like this. I'll bring it round. 
And I want to do it like this. So that I can sort of go into the bottom of the bridge a bit. That's more like it. Like that. And then... Try and bring it try and bring it in through the, the, the bottom part of the bridge, like this. So if, if we can remove the foundations, we'll have a better chance at this, I think. Come down a little bit lower. That's alright. We can do it like that. And now I just want to start swinging it in round like this. And that's, that's actually going to work, I think. If we can just keep bringing it over this way. There we go. Yeah, because it's, it's sort of weakening the, the foundations a bit. And then it's like going through all of it. Sort of. Yeah, but very, very sort of. But it, it is doing it. It's not quite how I wanted it to work. I th no, actually, I think we're going to be all right. I think we are going to be able to get through this one okay. Because um, most of the other side should be easy enough. And this does seem to be... If, if you don't actually move the excavator arm all that much, it does actually seem to work a little bit easier. And all right, I'm going to have to lift it up a bit now. Well, oh, no. I, uh, where do I want to do it? I want to lift it up like that, I think. There. Take in the... There we go. Right, so I've smashed down this bridge. Smashing a lot of this bridge down. And then I'll go into here. And I'll lower it down a bit more. Excellent. Over round. Okay. Right, I think... Yep, I'm, I'm definitely getting the hang of this now. We're definitely, definitely doing some um, decent work on this now. Uh, except now I've got to try and get that last little bit. And that bit doesn't want to go so well. It, it, but if I do it like this, it will. If I bring that one up there, I'm going to um, point that out a little bit. The problem is the, these controls are a bit the wrong way round. Everything seems to be slightly backwards, and I'm having a, a little bit of a problem getting used to them. Just uh, the, the direction that they are on the keys. I wonder if... Can I... I can't do it with the joystick. It doesn't work with the joystick. I'd have to... I, I guess I could... I guess I could, like, program the joystick in. That's, that's not entirely out of um, the question. If I, if I, if I wanted to. I, I don't actually want to do that at the moment, though. No. Um, I am going to just raise that up ever so slightly. And I'll bring it back down like that a little bit. Maybe up, up just a fraction. Just so that I can get these last bits here on the floor. If I can get those tidied up like that. Zoom out a bit. It's, I want to get all the little bits on the floor just because it does tend to give you more of a bonus if you can get all of those out of the way. You get more cash coming in. You look at our bonus there. It's actually doing pretty well. We seem to, we seem to have generated a decent amount of income from this um, potential bonus that we've got. So now if I go here, I can raise that up slightly. Uh, I have to just ease that back a bit. Let me bring it round. Oh, yeah, now we've got the next bit down. That's all breaking apart. I'm actually going to... Right, the, the job is done. I can now just kind of mess... Oh, no, I can kind of mess around a little bit, doing just a bit more to get a little bit more income. Right, I have demolished most of this bridge now. I've just got a couple of little bits left that I probably won't completely finish. Uh, because we've now generated well over $2,000 in bonus, which... It was kind of the idea. I wanted, I wanted to get a decent amount of money for bonus, which would generate us some extra income here so that we we're able to go and buy some more of the machinery. Uh, we, there's a couple of bits of machinery that we're going to need in order to really start generating a bit of income. One of those in particular is the, uh, the backhoe, because that's going to allow us to do the emergency jobs by the look of it. We're not going to be able to do them without that backhoe. And then if we can do that... If we can do these emergency jobs that uh, spring up from time to time, that was like four or five thousand dollars for doing that, which is a huge chunk of money. It really is. Right, I think that's probably enough. So let's finalize this job here. Three thousand one hundred plus another two thousand air finalized. That is going to be over five grand. Five thousand two hundred and thirty-nine dollars. All hours. It's absolutely wonderful. Absolutely amazing. We are now stinking rich. Right, so we have now six and a half grand, which is still not quite enough. There's, there is room for yet more improvement. Um, we don't have enough to buy the the one that I wanted to get, which was the uh, the um, the backhoe, the backhoe, the the, the basically the, just the JCB digger. Um, jobs. Let's have a look here. So we got Crazy Clown Georgie, which I need the shears for. 
Bell Towers, I need the Crawler Crane. That one... Oh, that was the, the the big one. The city decided to remove them before the bell towers are falling apart. We've got a lot of old old stuff here that we need to demolish. Uh, lightning struck historic church. Permission for explosives four. They're 600 apiece. That is going to use up an awful lot. We might use two explosives on it, I think, though. So let's show this one on the map. That one is right there. I want to go there. Uh, except set a, a waypoint to that one. That one uh, back. No, I don't want to go to... I don't want to go there. Right, we're over here. Tool shop is right there. So let me go to the tool shop first. We go and we speak to Dave. All right, Dave, how you doing? We want some explosives again, mate. There we go. Let's just take two of those. There's twelve hundred dollars. Except, thank you very much. Cheers, Dave. See you later, mate. Good of you to be working at four o'clock in the morning. I must admit, it's, it's it's quite helpful to us. Now, in order to get to our next job, I need a pickup. I can go to there, but that's actually this is the closest point that I can get. And there, do I, no, I don't want to set a waypoint. I want to go there, except, right. If I go here, I can then jump into this one. And we can then drive straight up the road. So I don't even need to summon my pickup. I can just go hammering up the road. 600, so we just got just over half a K up the road. And then we've got our next job up here, which is going to be demolishing a church. Now, this does feel a bit um, barbaric, I've got to be honest. There, there seems to be an awful lot of historic monuments that we're demolishing at the moment. And, oh no, I do want to go this way. I thought I needed to turn off, but apparently not. Apparently I can go in this way, according to according to the map anyway. But there's crash barrier all the way around. Oh no, 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 no. We want to go up here. We're going to swing in around here. And there is the job right there, 73 meters. So let me just stop right here. Ah, you can do that. You can jump out of a moving vehicle. It's always good when you can jump out of a moving vehicle. It just makes it a bit more fun. Right, accept. We accept this job. So we're going to demolish the benches and demolish the walls inside. And then we've got stuff that we've got to be careful of. Right, well, that would be the benches. This, this, this would be all the church benches. You wouldn't do this. You would not do this in real life. If you had a whole load of pews that were in a church... Um, somebody from the local community would come along and they would just have these. They, they would be given away. They wouldn't be smashed up and thrown away like this. Because the wood that is in some of the old pews in the churches is absolutely wonderful for um, doing woodwork with. It really is. It's absolutely amazing stuff. And you, you certainly wouldn't do it like this. This is just not something that would happen. I, I absolutely refuse to believe that this would happen. Right, I need to demolish these walls. I'm wondering if I can do it with... Not that one. Not that one either. Uh, no, not the nail gun. Not the explosives. Where is it? I must have gone through it already. No. That one! Yeah, that's what I want. Right, apparently I can do it with this one. It works quite well. So I'll come down through here. Taking off these outside bits. It doesn't seem to work with the, the inside walls. Demolish the walls inside. Uh, it doesn't seem to work with the bits in, in the middle of the walls. I've got all of that. I am going to have to do the other bits with a hammer, I think. I think I can come along and I can do this like this. Which is actually pretty quick. We can go down through. Uh, but then I'm going to have to do the... I'm going to go along with a hammer and just actually do the brickwork itself. Let's just remove that. Uh, was there another one? Let me just do the, the whole R uh, thing. No, there isn't another one. It's just this one. So I now need to go to the hammer. Yep, that one. There we go, right. And then I can smash down the rest of it using the hammer. Yes, that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to go along with a hammer and just smash the, the bottom of the wall out, like this. And then it'll work. It shouldn't take very long. The bit that I'm concerned about is um, throwing tracks on all the, um, the scrap metal that's lying around. We've got all these bits lying around here. I'm a little bit concerned about that. I think that's going to end up costing us. Um, we've also got to make sure that we don't overdo it on the dust in here. I see that we've got the hydrant thing there ready for dealing with the dust. So we've got that problem that we're going to have to deal with. Actually, I want to come... I'll come over this side. It'll be easier. We take the wall all the way along. Like that. There we go. And, yeah, I've only got to just... It, although I'm thinking that it doesn't actually seem to work completely when you, you're doing the, the lower part of the wall. Just doing... Oh, no, it does work. Right. Well, that's saying that it's done. It's these bits. These are the bits that I'm concerned about. Now, what is the? what am I going to actually have to destroy with the church? Am I going to have to destroy all of it? I am indeed going to have to take down every single little bit of it. So let's pick up this one here. And, oh no. Just, uh, I, I need to right-click to do this. 
So now we need to water down these walls. And we want to try and water down everything that we can. There we go. Oh, small gold mine generated gold ore 100%. That means we've actually got to go back and we've got to load it onto a truck and we've got to move it if we want to be able to do anything with it. Uh, or to, like, you know, to get any cash from it. Um, I don't think we've got a vehicle for moving it back in Gold Valley. We'll have to go and have a look at that. Guarded parking is in maintenance. I will have to send John J. Weekly, our employee. He's, he's going to need to go and deal with that. We'll, we'll do that in a minute. I wonder if I can... Can I do that from here? Can I phone up and say, Right, John J. Weekly, I need you to do something for me. You are the man for the job. Just go back through there like that. Right, and I got a little bit more over here. There's still some of that wall balanced and standing. Take the roof. All the way round. Guarded parking has generated some more income. There we go. All the way down there on those bits. Okay, this is actually working quite well. I'm, I'm actually doing quite well with uh, hosing it all down. I think that, yeah, you, you don't need to spend, like, ages on it. But you can stand all in the same place to do it. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm absolutely happy with that. Let me just go into here. And I want to go to uh, properties there. Gold Valley. Uh, guarded parking. This one here, remember to collect the ore. Assign worker to sell resources. Wooden house. I don't have a level 3 worker at the moment. But guarded parking, assign worker, John J. Weekly. Okay. John J. Weekly, you can go and do that job there. And then I'm going to go to workers in Gold Valley over here. I need a level... What level do I need? Level 3 for one of those jobs. So we've got... Level 3 is Charles Simon for 1,000. Herlinda Pearson. Uh, John N. Mitchell and Christopher L. Homan. Herlinda. We're going to hire her... 1,500? It's a bit expensive. Why is she so much more than Charles Simon? Charles Simon right here is a thousand, and he's a level three. I'm going for him because he's cheaper, and he's a level three. So then I can go back to my properties, and I can go to Wooden House. There, assign worker. Brilliant. Charles Simon, I'm going to assign him to that particular job right there. Right, he's on this job. So we've got two people there. That is all in maintenance and working now, I need to go over to the, the parking. Where Where is the parking? Uh, do you see? Oh, it's over here. It's all right. It's all right. Don't panic. I found it. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I found it. We want to go there. We want our excavator. We have the jackhammer on the excavator. This is everything that we could possibly want right here. And now we've got to actually start demolishing this church. And it's a little bit different doing it with this one than it is with the bulldozer so i need to do that and then i want to lower this one down a bit i'm going to put the jackhammer out in front and then move it out like that and down a bit more I'll come up like that i think let's try this let's see how well that does it's a little bit too tight to the ground so i want to lift it up a bit like that there we go up a bit more just a fraction there we go right and now i can just do it like this you watch we bring it round and everything will start to fall down as we just sort of swing sideways next to the church here i've only got to just go through little bit by little bit just get the right point there and down it comes right so now what I'd like to do is I'd like to bring it over here, over a bit more, like that, I think, there, 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 perfect, and then I'm going to swing it round sideways like this so that we can just drive down the side of the building. This is my master plan. I just want to drive slowly down here, except I'm, I'm going way, way too fast, and I'm going the wrong way as well. There we go. Let's bring that round that way. Um, oh, I want to swing it that way. There. Back a bit. Keep going. Nice. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. This is actually working. I'm actually doing this. A bit more. Keep going through. Keep going. Uh, this is where it starts. Yeah, because I'm sort of driving off the edge of the, um, the, the road here. It's, it's not working entirely well. But it, it's, it's still going sort of. Uh, 
Okay, this is it's going to be a bit more difficult to get through. No, 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 don't fall. I don't want to fall down and die. I do not want it to die. Right, let's bring this one round. And I'm going to need to gonna need to raise that one up a bit. We'll bring that down. And I'm going to have to bring it in like this. Actually, I'm going to have to rotate that back out again because it's the only way that it's going to work. That there is as far as it'll go. Ooh, I did manage to... We did do some. We did get we did get a bit done. There. Might have to just lower it. Yeah, it's, it's I'm struggling to get this corner. Can I bring it all the way round? Yep. We can bring it all the way round this way. I still don't think I'm gonna get this corner very well. Oh, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Yes, there we go. Now we're talking, and I have raised a bit of dust, but I think I think we're alright with it. I think we're alright. We can bring that one back a bit more. Um, uh, how am I going to do this? Bring it over like that. Yep. And then I can just bring it down a little bit more. I've only I've only got just there we go. Uh, almost. Almost. I got it. I got it. I got it. That was the bit that I wanted. It's it, these controls are the backwards. Um. It's because of the, it's because yeah the, the, it's not inverted, and I'm always used to inverted controls, whether it's in the actual excavators in real life or in games anyway. I'm always uh, I'm very much an inverted controller player. Um, there are two types of players in the world: one uses inverted controllers and one uses um, regular um, setup for controllers. And I, I always use inverted controllers. Right, bring that one over there. Smashing up these bits down here is actually relatively simple. We don't need to worry about that. I, I, what I want is something that I can smash these walls with a lot easier. Uh, can I do it with a bucket? Can I just smash it with a bucket? Would that work? I don't know if it would. We'll, we'll try that in a second. We'll just bring that one up and back in his way. Because we know that the, the wheeled excavator, I used to be able to do that, didn't I? I could just swing the bucket round sideways and it would actually work. All right, let's get that bit there. A little bit more. Over there. And down. Down. No, down. Down. That's it. Down. That, uh, I want it that down. Not not that down. I want that down. You can see these these controls are completely the wrong way around for me. I need to I need to reassign them. That's what I need to do. Let me see if I can do that a minute. Right, that's a bit better. I've now inverted the main controls on here, so I'm hoping that's going to make life a little tiny bit easier for me. But no, what I was also going to do... Hang on. Um, no, I was I was going to go into here, and I was going to go... No, I was going to go to vehicles right there. I was going to go to that one, and just see if the bucket... Good tool for digging, but is it a good tool for smashing? This is what we want to... Ooh, maybe it will. Maybe I can smash with my bucket. Uh... Apparently, I cannot smash with my bucket. Okay, this um, this wall that we're working on is considerably more tough than I realised. So let's put the jackhammer back on there again and equip. There we go. And then we need to uh, bring that one up. Is that as high as it will go? Oh no, it's because it was in the ground. If it goes into the ground, it really does seem to struggle. As soon as, it, as soon as it goes into the ground at any point, it, it does seem to struggle to move at all. It, it kind of stops the whole thing from moving. And let's bring that one on this way. There. Go forward. I'm actually going backwards here, which is why I'm sort of dancing a bit. Uh, there. That's fine. And then I can switch over to this. And if I straighten it up a bit, and I bring it down like that a bit... And I bring that one up as high as it'll go a bit as well. And we do it like this. Maybe then... Right, let's, let's bring it back around that way. Maybe then we can just drive forward. Get it lined up. There. Now we're talking. We can just go along the wall and we can smash the wall as we go along like this. We'll take everything out. And we'll make a killing. Except that I've got a bit of wall there that I can't get past. Okay, that's, that's just great. Uh, nope, I don't want to go that way. I've also got to be really careful that I don't go inside and um, destroy the tracks on this thing either. Because that's going that, that would end up being really, really bad. We'll just bring this in here. And I'll get these walls here like this. Another bit there. It's actually going to come through quite easily. 
and I come around there like that. Go up a bit, a little bit more. Gone. Is this one tiny bit there? This, there we go. The whole thing is coming down now. Now we're talking. Charles Simon has ended work on your land of property. We will go. We will assign them next time. I've just about finished this job, so um, I'd actually like to do any future assignments um, in our next episode rather than today, just just to make life easier for us. All right, that's coming. That's all falling down now. The whole lot coming down. It's actually really good, though. I'm still travelling backwards. It would probably be a lot quicker if I wasn't travelling backwards. And the old church ruins. We've got hardly any left on it now. I've got just a bit more. We, we can bring this over here. There, yeah, like that. Swing round. Keep swinging round. Like that. There we go. I got 18 left to do. I don't know if I want to bother waiting for um, or trying to earn any bonus because, quite frankly, I'm, I've had about enough of trying to knock everything down with this one. It's so much easier when you're actually sat in a real life one. It really is. I've done this job before, um, not with something quite this big, but I have done this job before. And trust me, it is as much fun as you'd think it would be. It really is. It's absolutely awesome using an excavator to knock stuff down it is so much fun it really is it's absolutely brilliant and now i'm stuck completely stuck oh there we go i just i just need to get a little bit more i can't i can't move i'm stuck <laughs> go on go 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 i just i, I just want to come off i just need to get off this heap here if i if i can do that um, oh, there we go. That's more like it. Right, now come that way. And then I can just swing around here like this. All the way through the wall. I'm actually going to, while I'm here, I've just got to turn around in a, a quick circle. So I may as well just grab a little bit of extra bonus just for these. I feel we've earned a bit of it. There we go. There's all, there's all the extra bonus. I think there's everything. There's everything that we can earn. Another $1,941 on top of our job. Bit more there, 53. So even though we've got we've got all these bits lying all over the floor, you've actually got to smash them up to be able to get all the bonus. I didn't realise that. I thought you got the bonus just for like knocking them down completely. So if we drive around a bit, we can actually turn some of this scrap that's lying on the floor into more bonus for us. Just like that. Look, look at that. Look at the money coming in. I had no idea. I genuinely didn't. I've been playing this game for a while now, and I still I had and, and this is like a, a new mechanic to me. Um, careful, carefully does it. Nope, I want to go that way. I can't quite reach that great big lump there. There's a tree. You know what? I think that now that we're lying over the side, there is probably time to finish. 2,052. We lost 32, so we got 4,720 dollars for knocking down an old church. That is pretty good. We get paid to knock down a church. If you ever get the chance to use a small ex any kind of excavator to knock down a building, go for it. It is so much fun. Trust me on this, it is absolutely awesome. We've now got $8,876, which means that we're close to being able to afford the lignin mine. I think we can actually afford the mine itself. It's just that we also need to be able to run it properly. A lignite, not lignin, lignite. Um, the Lignite Mine, we're close to being able to afford that one because uh, there was some stuff that we needed to go with it in order to be able to buy it and get it set up properly. But anyway, that's all we've got time for today. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.